Hello students, once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the question number 15. Now students, in question number 15, gold occurs as a face centered cube. Now students, please pay attention. Here gold, now it is present in which form? Face centered cube. And has a density of 19.3 kg per dm cube. This is, you can say, dm cube. Understanding students, why it is for? Because here it is minus. So we can say kilogram per dm cube. Calculate the atomic radius of gold. What would be the atomic radius of gold? Now, here in question students, it is given molar mass of gold is 197. Understanding students, with the help of this information students, we are going to find the radius R of the gold. Understanding students, so how you are going to solve students, solution? If you want to write the solution students, so read the questions properly. Here students, gold. What is the formula of gold students? We are writing what? AU is nothing but what? Gold. Now students, for your understanding students, I can draw gold occurs as face centered cube. Now students, it is crystallizes into face center. This is the square. Okay, students. So it is present in which form? That is FCC form, face center cube. That means now here, students, gold occurs as face center cube. Here it has got ten corners. Gold is present at ten co eight corners. That is four above and four below. Okay, students. And this is also present on the surfaces. Total six surfaces are there, students. There are also gold atoms are present. One back side, one front side, students. So this is the FCC structure. From this you come to know number of gold atoms, students. That is why I have drawn. This is the gold is occurs as phase center cube that means gold is present in crystalline form that is phase center cube and has density now you know the density 19.3 kilogram per dm we have to calculate the atomic radius of gold we are going to calculate the atomic radius okay students atomic radius that is small r of the gold understanding students since students here we are going to calculate the radius of the gold how you will calculate students now here this is the side understanding what will be the relation students how you will calculate you know the relation of radius is always in the FCC is 1 upon 2 root 2 times that is the side of the cube. If you know this relation, students, then only you can find the radius of the gold. Understanding, students? Now, what else is given, students? How you will calculate the side, students? This side is very important, students. If you want to calculate the side, students, once how you will calculate side, once you know the side of the cube, students, you can calculate the radius of the gold. Understanding, students? Now, students, here since here it is given density, density is equals to mass upon volume mass of unit cell upon volume of unit cell understanding students here density students i can write density is also equals to mass and volume you can write what side cube okay students now students here once again one problem is coming how you are going to calculate the mass of this unit cell so you should know the mass of four units because fcc is containing four atom of gold so students how you will calculate so first of all students you should know the number of gold atom number of gold atom since it is the FCC students, 1 upon 8 of 8. 8 atoms of gold are present at 8 corners. So 1 upon 8 part is shared by 1 unit cell. 1 unit cell will share 1 upon 8 part of the 8 gold. And students, 6 gold atoms are also present on the surfaces. That is half of the sphere will be present in unit cell. And half of will be shared by the neighboring unit cell. So 1 upon 2 of 6 atom of gold. That is equal to 8 ones are 8, 8 ones. That is 1 plus 2 ones are and 2 threes are. That is 3. You will get 4 atom of gold understanding students so number of atom gold atoms present in the fcc is what four atom now students since here in question students you know one mole of gold atom is nothing but one upon 96 gram if you represent atomic mass in terms of gram that means one mole of gold atom it corresponds to 198 seven gram of gold okay students now one mole of atom is having how many atom of gold students it will has 6.022 into 10 is to 23 atom of gold which corresponds to the when the weight when you are going to weight this Avogadro number of gold students it is always equals to 197 gram okay, now then what will be the weight of one atom the one atom weight of one atom of gold will be you have to divide 197 by number 6.022 into 10 is to 23 understand this gram you have to divide with this number so you will get this you can also write you can also convert 197 you can convert 1.97 into 10 raised to 2 understanding when you multiply 100 again you are getting 197 okay students because we are going we want this we are going to solve this division by log using we are going to use log with the help of log students we are going to divide this number that is why you are whenever you are divide we are using log you have to always put in the, before one decimal understanding 1.97 into 10 raised to 2 197 can be written as 1.97 into 10 to 2 now this is as it is you have to write students 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 Okay, students. Now, what happens, students? This 10 is to 23 will go in numerator. 
So first, you, this number you write as it is 197 divided by 6.022. Now, what happens when this 10 is to 23 will go in numerator, that is 10 is to 2, it will become negative, that is 10 is to minus 23. Understanding students, when this will go in numerator, so it will become 10 is to minus 2. Understanding students, so students, we are going to calculate mass of one atom of gold, that is AU, that is 1.97 upon 6.022 into 10 is to 2 multiplied by 10 is to minus 23 okay students this we have done now what happens when 10 is to 2 and 10 is to minus 2 here the students index will be added and here you have positive plus 2 and here it is what minus 2 so there will be what it will become 10 is to minus 21 understanding students now this part students you can write as a y okay students this part now how you are going to calculate the value of y students for that students we are going to use log table Okay, students, this you have to do in the page. So, suppose this y equals 1.97 dividing by 6.022. Okay, students. So, now this division, students, we are going to do with the help of the log table. So, what you will do, students, how you will do that is division, decimal division, students. For that, students, you have to apply log table on both the sides. So, what happens, students, when you apply log table on both the sides, it will become log of y. And because, it, students, it has got numerator as well as what denominator, when you apply the log, what happens students? so log of numerator because it is a division so it will becomes what minus log of 6.022 correct students because you have applied log on the both the side so you have got what happens students how you'll get the this we have once you apply the log so you have to use the log table understanding students before going to the log table students you have to find out the characteristics what will be the characteristics students here the characteristics students before decimal you just see the number how many number only one number that is one is the number so one is minus you have to do the subtraction minus one so it will become zero this is the characteristics of this before this uh, before going to take students you have to write down the characteristics so how you are going to calculate the characteristics students you have to see the number how many numbers are present before decimal so only one number so one always total how many numbers are there you have to subtract my one so one number is there one minus one will be zero yes students here what will be the characteristics here also before decimal students you see how many number only one number that is six so one minus one here the characteristic will be what so the zero will be the characteristics in both the cases okay students now see the log table when you see the log table 19 in seventh column students please everybody just see the log table in log table students in logarithmic table when you see in 19 in seventh column students i think it is coming two nine four five yes it is coming or not yes it is coming now when you go students here in 16 columns 16 students when you log table in second column and mean difference second when you have to add the mean difference students you are getting seven seven nine seven correct students now what happens students when you subtract this is 5 5 minus 7 is not possible so what you will do students you have to borrow from here it will become 15 15 minus 7 will be what 8 okay students now here 3 minus 9 is not possible so what you will do you have to bring 1 it will become 13 minus 9 that is becomes 4 now here it is students 8 8 minus 7 that is 1 now 2 minus 7 is not possible students so what you will do students you have to borrow 1 from here 0 so it will become bar 1 and now it is becoming 12 12 minus 7 students how much 5 so students it is coming what bar of 5.41 okay students this bar students you, you can also write like this so 0 0.5148 this you can convert like 10 is to minus 1 because only 1 is to minus 1 okay students this is the value of log y but we want only y here okay students for y students what you have to do you know this is the log of y which is equals to 0 0.5148 into 10 is to minus 1 what happens students what will be the value of y this log will go this side it, it, it becomes anti-log anti log of 5148 and 10 is to minus will be as it is so students in lengthy log students you just go 51 in fourth column students mean difference 8 you have to add you will get 3 2 7 2 and this 10 is to minus is as this is the value of this anti log understand now students you have to put report the characteristics when the characteristic will be zero students when there will be what decimal point you have to put here so before decimal point one digit one digit digit minus one will be zero so again we have put the characteristics so this is the value of y students now this value of y you have to put in the question number one students mass of one atom of gold that is au is nothing but i have written y into 10 is to minus 21 okay students when you put these values students what happens it will become 3.272 10 is to minus 1 into 10 is to minus 21 now minus minus students it will be added so you'll get 3.272 10 is to minus 22 understanding minus 1 and minus 21 will be minus 22 understanding this is the mass of one atom of gold okay students this is in gram okay students now you know the mass of one atom of gold now because since it is a fcc students since it is what fcc so mass of four atom of gold will be you have to multiply by four okay students mass 
of four atom atom of gold will equals to four into that is the mass of one atom now we have we have got is twenty three point two seven two into ten is two minus twenty two gram okay students when you multiply students what will come four two is a eight isn't it ten is two minus two will be as it is am I right now four three seven is a how much students that is twenty eight eight you have to keep here and two in the mind four two is a eight plus two how much students it will be ten zero you have to put one you have to keep in the mind four three is a twelve plus one it will becomes what thirteen so this is the mass of four atom of gold understanding now you know the mass and you you have and you know the density how you are go, going to calculate the volume students since students since you know density this is the symbol of density students is nothing but mass upon volume okay students now you know the density density 19.3 it is given mass now you have got mass of four atom that is 13.088 into 10 is to minus 22 you have to divide with a cube volume is nothing but students what side cube understanding okay students now what will be the a students a cube is here if nothing is there students we are taking one so a cube upon one will be a cube which is equals to now this upon this students that is 13.088 into 10 is to minus 22 you have to divide with 19.3 okay students so this is the value of a cube so students here a cube is nothing but 13.088 into 10 is to uh, minus 22 you have to divide with density that is 9.19.3 okay students now what happens students what happens when if you shift the decimal here students 1.3088 this will becomes minus 21 divided by 19.3 now what happens students when you multiply numerator this can be written as 1.3088 into 10 is to minus 21 this you can also write students 1.93 into 10 is to 1 understanding now this 10 is to 1 will go in numerator students it will becomes 1.308 into 10 is to minus 21 it will become 10 is to minus 1 and here it is as it is students 1.93 okay students now this part is students this whole part i am considering as a y and it is becoming what 10 is to minus 22 okay students this is the value of a cube understand students now how you are going to solve the y value students with the help of the log table so here students if you want to divide the decimal number now since students this you can do in rough book so how you will get the Take the log students. This is the y. That is 1.308. You have to divide with 1.930. Okay, students. So what happens, students? You have to here also you have to take the log on both the side. Okay, students. When you take the log, students on both the it will become log of y equals log of numerator. That is log of 1.308 minus log of 1.93. Okay, students. Now again, students. When before if you want to take the log, students you have to put you have to write down the characteristics first. Now before decimal, students you have one digit. So what will be the characteristic? Students, the characteristic will be what? One minus one. That is zero. Now, students, you go in the log table. When you go in log table, students, in thirteen, zero column and eight mean mean difference, students, it will come one one six five. Okay. Minus will be as it is, as it is, students. Now, when you go in the log table, students, before going to the log table, students, you have to take the characteristics. What will be the characteristic, students? Here again, there is one digit. So one digit minus one digit will be zero. Will be the characteristic. Now, students, when you go in log table nineteen in third column, students, you are getting two eight five six. Now, when you subtract, students. How much it is coming? Five minus six is not possible. So what you will do? You have to borrow one from six. So it will become fifteen. Fifteen minus six will be how much? Students, it will be it will be nine. Yeah, five minus five will be zero. Now one minus eight is not possible. So what you will do? You will borrow one. It will become eleven minus eight. That is three. Correct. Now what happens? Students, now here you have zero. Zero minus two is not possible. So you have to take the borrow it from here. So it will be ten minus two. That is eight. And decimal will be as it is now. This is one. This you can also write students point eight three zero nine into ten is two minus one. Understand students? This is the value of log of y. Now what will be the y students? So this log will come on this side. It will become anti log, anti log of zero point eight three zero nine. Okay students. Now students, when you go in anti log table students, now before what you have to see in anti three zero column ninth mean difference students, it is coming six seven seven five. Yes or no? Now students, you have to put the characteristics, and this will be as it is. Now what will be the characteristics students? When the characteristic will be zero students, when the decimal will be will be here. So one minus one will be zero. Understand students? This is the value of y. Now students, this value of y students you have to report again. A cube is becoming students. Six point seven seven five into ten is to minus one. Already it is minus twenty two is there, students. Now what will become students? Six point seven seven five. This is the minus one minus twenty two. So total how many minus students? Ten is to minus twenty three minus. Okay, students minus twenty three minus one and my index will be added because here both are having same symbol. So you have to add the magnitude. Understanding? So minus twenty three. So this is the value of a cube. Okay, students. But we want a. So for that, students, what you have to do? Here, students, this you can also write. If you divide by ten, students. If you multiply six, seven point seven by ten, 
that is minus one, it will becomes like this. Understanding? Now you again the this will be added issuance. It will become six seven seven five. The negative sign will be added issuance. It will becomes minus twenty four because we want here what cube root. Understanding? That is why I have done like this. Understanding issuance? Okay, correct. Now how you will get the value of issuance? Now this will go cube. You have to this cube will come on this side. It will becomes cube root of sixty seven point seven five into ten is to minus twenty four. This you can also write sixty seven point seven five. Into 10 is to minus 24. This cube root you can also write in fraction form like this. Okay, so this is the value of a. Now, students, when you take the cube root of 10 is to minus 24, students, it is becoming a 67.75 cube root of, and this 10 is to minus 24 students, like this students. Now, what happens students? 67.75, 67.75 cube root. Now this one upon three will be multiplied with minus twenty-four. It will comes ten is to minus eight. Understanding three ones are three eights are, so it will come ten is to minus eight. Now students again here students how you are going to take the cube root with the help of the log table students again students you have to consider this quantity as a y and ten is to minus eight as it is again in the rough general students you have to do like this y equals sixty-seven point seven five raised to one upon three students. When what happens students here again you have to take the log on both the side. It will become log of y. This. 1 upon 3 will become first then you have to take the log of 67.75 okay students now this is the 1 upon 3 of log of 67 students what will be the characteristics before decimal point you have two digit 2 minus 1 that is 1 will be the characteristics now in log table students 67 7th column and 5th mean difference you have any wide students you will get 8310 understanding students when you divide students before decimal here yeah, so you have to put the point 6 3 6 are 18 3 1s are 3 3 3 are 9 okay students so this is the log of y log of y log of y is nothing but 0 0.6103 so what will be the y students it will be anti log you have to take the anti log of this number students so what happens students you have to see in 61 0 column third main difference students it will come 4077 7. okay students when the characteristic will be 1 when the decimal will be here then the characteristics will be 1 this is the value of y students now again students you have to put the value you will get the side side that is a value you are getting that is 4.077 into 10 to minus 8 centimeter understanding students this is the length of the side. But students in questions, they are asking what radius. What will be the radius? So radius is always 1 upon 2 root 2 times of side. That is A. Understanding students? Now you have to put the value students 1 upon 2 root 2 times A. That is multiplied by 4.077 into 10 is to minus 8 centimeter. Okay students, it will be like this students. It will come in numerator 4.7 into 10 is to minus 8. You have to divide with 2 root 2. Understanding 4.077 into 10 is to minus 8. Now students, 2 root 2 value is always 1.41. When you multiply students 4.077 in 10 is to minus 8, when you twice it, it will become 2.82. Understanding students? When you divide students with the help of the log table students, here I'm not using log table, you have to do at home. So when you divide students, it will come 1.442. And 10 is to minus 8 will be as it this this is the radius radius of gold understanding students so this way students you can find the radius of the gold understand these are very important questions students with the help of the log table i have explained how you're going to solve the questions students in the board examination students, same way you have to do this is very important for the examination point of view if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you